Hello and welcome back everybody here on all the mods 9 alpha on Twitch guys we've got some plans today there's been no new updates to the pack but what we have lazy farmer hey how's it going guys uh they over at the donut community base they made a really overpowered essence farm but the way they were processing the inferium was really lagging the server now i have some ideas on how they could process it to lag less give me just a second here and i told them i would build it for them so we're going to give that a try i've spent the past few hours preparing resources well last hours last night not not this morning but i have an idea okay so currently what they were using was they were using the uh the vacuum hoppers from ender io which drag the item all the way to the hopper then they were using crafters on fast mode to uh craft all the essence I have a different idea. Now, the only th the only thing I need to make is a couple more advanced magnet upgrades. And then let me grab some materials here. So we're going to need some storage buses. And I crafted a stack of each of these. So I want your guys' opinion. There's the compression upgrade automatically compresses, decompresses items, right? And then there's the advanced compacting upgrade, which only compacts. I'm going to take a couple of these for the final chests and I'm going to take some advanced compacting. I'm going to take our magnets, the storage buses. I made some RS crafters. If my AE2 idea doesn't work, we're going to need some molecular assemblers. A bunch of acceleration cards. I believe I made some uh, capacity cards too. Yep. And then let me think here, guys. Let me think. I need the extended importers, exporters. Should have the cables here as well. Possibly a controller or two. And we'll start with this. So let's head over to the crazy Inferium farm. And what my plan is, is instead of using absorption hoppers, we are going to have the... Oh no, okay, I, he did leave them. I, I asked him to leave the netherite chest. Looks like he did leave them. What we're going to do is in each of these oak netherite chests, I'm going to take out two of the stack upgrades and I'll give these all back to them. I'm going to put a magnet and a compact. Now the advanced magnet is only going to be set to pick up items and I only want it to pick up Inferium. Then the advanced compacting is going to compact. I'm going to do work in GUI as well. Compact anything, allow, and I think I need to put Inferium and Inferium block. I'm not 100% sure. We'll find out for sure. No, I'm going to do that at each of these four chests really fast. I'll try to be quick about it. We're allowing Inferium and compacting Essence and Block. See if I can find it here. Gosh, dang it. There it is. I'm going to do that at each four of these chests. I'm going to turn on the farm. And what I'm hoping to get is we can severely lower massively lower the amount of uh crafting that is necessary to turn this into ins insanium by doing this 
I'll, I'll explain it as soon as I finish this filter. The thing is, is you can turn four inferium, right, into one of the next tier at a time. However, you can also turn inferium blocks. So instead of processing only four inferium in a tick, we could process 36. So I'm going to do this on all of them. And the, my hope is with the use of these upgrades, we should see, let me make sure this is allow. I put a wireless access in the bag. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Hopefully, what we're going to see is if I quickly turn on the farm for a moment. Perfect. They gave us access to their ME system. That is fantastic for us to use for this. If I turn it on, you'll see the items are instantly getting teleported now. And hopefully getting inferior blocks. Now, as you can tell, this farm is insanely overpowered. It's currently bugged. The issue is that the modular router, when it is harvesting this area, it is not breaking the crop like it should be. Now for server performance, lazy farmer, for server performance, I'm going to lower the speed. Nine speed upgrades makes this run every tick, which is really rough on the server. I'm going to try it at seven. And this is still, this is more Inferium than you guys could ever use. But seven should be a bit, it's still fast. Just not as rough on the server. Let me check, check TPS. Yeah, we're, we're right around 20 TPS at seven of them and it's still going pretty quick. And I'll be putting the pieces I take out into here. Now the next big thing we need to do is now that we have these inferior blocks, I'm going to put a storage bus on each of these. And we're going to make an ME network here, right? So I'll take our cable and I'm going to run it across. Me get it over here and you'll see what we're gonna do this is gonna be really cool and then I'm gonna link them somewhere in the middle why don't we do right here so we've we've made a network now, in order to have enough channels, I'm going to put down a controller right in the middle. And we're going to need power. I was thinking what we'll do is steal some power from this quantum link bridge. So if we grab their terminal so that we have access to their items, I'm going to grab some quartz fiber. Just need one. I'm going to put that on here and then I do need a cable anchor like so just to make sure we don't touch the link bridge and then I'm going to run the power okay tell you what my back my jetpack isn't good enough for this since I'm working on their base I'm going to use a, a admin command to have creative flight I'm going to bring this down and this should bring our ME network online. Perfect. Now the way we're going to do this is with modular routers, not using any crafters. So this bottom row, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place them down. So they're getting power from here, but connection, or I guess it's right next to the controller. I'm, I'm going to move it one out just in case if I need more channels. 
I'm going to put down one, two, three, one, oops, one, two, three. And what I'm going to do inside of these molecular assemblers, right? I'm going to accelerate them so they are max speed. Now we're going to need some, oh, I fell down. We're going to need somewhere to store the items in the meantime. And what I was thinking is I'd take one of their netherite chests up here and use it as an interim for the materials. So let me go home. I'm going to come to our patterns. I'm going to make a few patterns. And hopefully what we can go for, if my brain would start working, is we're going to look at the use for Inferium Block. And we want to use Master Infusion Crystals, which I have made a few. I didn't know I was going to have access to their ME system, so I made a bunch of materials last night. But I'm going to take these patterns... And these molecular assemblers, for those who don't know, molecular assemblers can run without pattern providers. You just have to put a pattern inside of them, right? I'm going to put all of these uh, patterns. Then what I'm going to do is steal one of these. Oh, one day I'll stop falling. I'm going to steal one of these chests. And I'm going to put it right down here with a storage bus. And give it those stack upgrades. And this storage bus we're going to put at a 1 priority. Now, we need a cable running across the top of these. I'm going to go dense, dense so it connects from the side of the controller. Cables across the top. And I'm going to put in a extended import bus. Like so. At each of these, I'm going to max it sell them. And guys, if AE2 isn't fast enough to process these items, what I'm thinking is we are going to use a uh, RS uh, crafter netherite from extra cells. With those in, in I'm going to say give it inferium blocks, give it inferium blocks. And what I really should do is bring a memory card. Let me see if I, if they have a memory card pattern. We'll make a new one so that we don't use any of the ones they already have. I'm going to copy that config, place it, place it, place it. And hopefully, I did do this, right? Storage bus, storage bus, says it's online. Is it not going to take it unless it gets an infusion crystal too? Oh, these are import. Oh my gosh, guys. I messed that up a little bad. Not going to lie. Extended export is what we want. Should only have to configure one of them. Excel cards and inferium block. Then I'm going to copy that and paste it down the row. It will also place in the Excel cards. That should fill these with Inferium block. And now the test I want to run, if I grab the Master Infusion Crystals I made, I made nine for them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I want to see if if we throw it in, 
it looks like it keeps the crystal, right? So we don't need to worry about that at all. The only thing we need to do is come down at the bottom and do extended import. That should be pulling them here. And uh, I do need more acceleration cards. I'm gonna steal them from them. Go ahead and throw these in. So they should be running pretty quick here. Ah, but see, it's taking too long to uh, put the items in. So I had an idea of how we could speed this up. But I'm going to I'm going to let the network stabilize. It takes time to stabilize. Do you see how these ones are now cooking? Going really fast. We're getting prudentium blocks. Let's keep this going. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do one assembler for the next tier. Let me go ahead and I'm actually going to replace this with a dense. And bring the cable up. I'm gonna I'm just gonna build the, the towers really fast. Place the regular cable. Yeah, looks like we have already processed all that there was, but it still took a minute. Oh, never mind. They just uh, significantly. Oh, I was updating the network, so they have to. They have to catch up again. It takes a while, but once the network is stabilized, they will speed up. I'm gonna do another. Export on the top, import on the bottom. And what we're going to need is some more patterns. So let me actually head home. Come to our patterns. I'm going to app mystic block. And we're going to look at the, the uh, not the coal blocks, sorry. Uh, here we go. Tertium block. I'm going to make two patterns for this. And then just so that we don't have to come back, I'm going to make a pattern for Imperium. Come over here, throw these patterns in, give them a crystal. And Excel cards in here. Yeah, it's speeding up. There we go. That's what we want to see. And these export buses are going to export Prudentium. We should see once the network catches up. Oh, we need more Excel cards. I'm going to tell it to, I'm going to have them craft a thousand. You can uh, get mad at me for doing a thousand later. <laughs> but we are online. Why are we not getting the prude? Oh, I did coal again. Gosh, dang it. I don't know why that one's first. Prudentium block. Prudentium block. Excel cards. And we'll wait for it to start catching up here. And then all we should need in this middle platform for the last ones looking at mystical agriculture 
we should just need one to go from one of each to go to Imperium, Supremium, and eventually Insanium. Yeah, so I'm going to place down one, two, and three. more crafters. This first one will be our Imperium. Give it Excel cards. Let's do a cable, cable, and we're gonna need a import, 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 export, export, export. Place the last of these cables. Do our Excel cards. Sh shouldn't it take too long. Okay. Then we'll go make some patterns. I do need more infusion crystals. I'm hoping they have the materials for that. I just undid what I wanted, actually. That's kind of funny. Uh, but we'll make a pattern for Imperium. Supremium. And Insanium. I'm going to head on back over here. Yeah, that, that should work. I'm gonna go ahead and place the other patterns here. One, two, oh, I guess we needed, I messed up. We did need one more. It's gonna require some anchors though. Unless I go like this and do export, import, Excel, Excel, Excel pattern. Let me see if they have a pattern for Master Infusion Crystals. Oh, they've got a few. I'm just going to take a couple and put one in here, in here, and in here. Then all we should need to do is go through and say Export that, export that, that, or wait, wait, am I doing this right? The blue, oh, I, I did do it right, didn't I? Yeah, I think I did, and, Oh, I skipped a step. I skipped a step. I know I did. That one makes red. Blue. Ah, oh, there we go. That's, I think that's the mistake I made. Oh, I have, I have two. Okay. My math was right at the start. We actually have two of the blue patterns. Come over here and instead do blue to red and red to purple. You're going to export blue. You're going to export. Oh, I did the coal again. You're going to export blue and you're going to export red. We should be operational where now it is crafting all the way up to Insanium block. And what I want to test, guys, if I put a compression upgrade. Okay, maybe that doesn't work. May have to do another chest. But all I want to do is send the Insanium to them, which I'm going to do 
using their system here. There we go. They've got an import. So this is where the Insanium needs to go. I think what I'll do is actually wrap this cable. I'll let them redesign it themselves. I'm going to wrap this dense down and over. And all I'm going to take is go slash home. I need a interface. I mean, I, that's right. I can yoink stuff from them. Oh, they don't have a pattern for them. Darn. I'm going to take an interface. And this pattern we don't need. Place down the interface into their main network. Put a extended export. And a cable. And say this export is going to export in Sanium. I'll let them set up the uh, conversion of Insanium. Oh, darn. I just put all those blocks in their network on accident, I think. I'm not sure. There we go. That should be the basis of the system. Why don't we go ahead and try turning it on? and see how well it keeps up. Now, once again, because of the way AE2 works, this is going to have to ramp up where as the blocks are being formed, the system needs to catch up in terms of exporting the Inferium. But once it gets going and is instant, it'll be a lot cleaner. 20 TPS, which is what we want to see. And then just to be safe, in case they accidentally leave it on, I'm going to use their storage. We're going to come to sophisticated storage. And what we're going to do is come over here, take out another stack upgrade, and place a void upgrade. Now, the void upgrade is going to be set to allow single slot to be filled. And I want a single stack of the blocks. This is just a server safety precaution. There we go. It's starting to kick on the AE2 system. I'm going to come here, allow single slot. Let's quickly do this at all of them. Single slot, Inferium. And last but not least, single slot Inferium. Now, obviously, it's not quite keeping up a graphic rabbit, but this teaches them how to do it. What, I, what you could do is add more molecular assemblers. There is a way to do this with possibly using refined storage that could be faster. But guys, the thing is, you don't need this much Inferium. <laughs> and it's a bug. They're, they're definitely abusing a bug, without a doubt. But this way, we're processing a bit better. Coming into their system, let's take a look at how fast the Insanium is coming in. Definitely coming in, uh, looks like one block every 10 seconds. Let me watch up here. Maybe not every 10 seconds. As it stands, the bottleneck is the Prudentium blocks. Doing its best to keep up. You, you wouldn't have to run the farm too long, but just in case, we've got the void upgrades. And there you go. There is, as you can see by our 20 TPS, 
compared to 12 when the previous farm was running. It's keeping up decently well enough. Maybe adding one more set of Prudentium crafters. It could possibly keep up with how much this farm produces. Because as it stands, just this corner is enough to keep up with what I've made. But Hans, I don't know if you're here. I hope this is acceptable. It teaches you what I'm talking about, about speed and such. And you'll notice using the magnets in the chests, the items are not staying alive for a long time. They're not having to move to the absorption hopper. They are instantly being picked up. And it's beautiful. Hope this helps. Hope it helps you learn. Uh, a little bit of AE2. Let me give you back your wireless crafting table and your stacks. Yeah, all you would need to do is expand the amount of molecular assemblers. And you should be, uh, you could get this to a point it can keep up. If I was really trying to keep up, since we know that six is enough for one chest. In fact, it's actually almost not enough. I would do 24 molecular assemblers total for just Prudentium, and then you just need one for every four of these. So you would need six, and then I would do two, four, Two for Imperium, and then one, one is what I would do. But again, there, there, is phys there is no reason you need this much essence. This is so broken. <laughs> I'm sure you already have more Insanium than you could ever feasibly use. But it's cool. Make sure you report the bug if you have the time. Um, if it hasn't already been reported. There we go, guys. I wanted to do that first in today's stream. Let I don't think I have anything else of theirs, do I? Oh, this is one of theirs. Give them back their crystal. That should be everything I took from them and a memory card. And technically, these are their acceleration cards. Cool. Let's head back home. And the plan today is actually to work on our own ME system that we've been getting going here. As well as... Wrangling the Ward says that is so much essence. Yeah, you would never... You, you physically would never need that much. That is... Uh, in just those few seconds of us having that machine on, we got more essence than you would need in an entire playthrough of uh, the mod pack. <laughs> that was cool. I'm going to make sure I turn off that administrator flight so that I'm only using my own jetpack that I've made. Maybe what we should do is upgrade our jetpack today, guys. Let's come to our patterns. And we're going to upgrade to diamond, diamond capacitors, diamond energy cells, and elite coils. And then we just need diamond thrusters. Now, I think the tier after diamond is emerald. So let's go emerald, emerald thruster, ultimate coil. Ultimate energy cell and ultimate battery. And I'm going to throw these in my pattern providers. Let's see if this is going to work for us to try to jump up to a emerald jetpack. Darn, it's... Oh, it, it wants an Electrum in one of the patterns we did. I'm going to show my patterns. 
and which one was using so that one's using the diamond that one's using the electrum we need to fix this pattern to instead of electrum be gold oh darn it's not showing the uh how do i get that to be the gold when i click it darn it it's a broken pattern, which is a bummer. Darn, I'm going to have to craft that tier manually, I think. Oops. Let me click this in again. I'm just going to try putting the gold jetpack. I don't know if that this is probably not a valid pattern. But if I try to craft emerald. Yeah, missing diamond and our diamond jetpack. Oh, maybe it'll work. Nope, I think it Rose. No, it did work. Okay, so then from diamond, we'll get a emerald. Oh, says it's missing it. Tell you what, just to speed it up, I'm just going to craft two thrusters and a emerald capacitor and manually craft this. Oops, I'm in the wrong screen. Two emerald. Now we'll have a much more stable jetpack, which is beautiful. I don't know. If, yeah, we don't have the all the modium tier of the jetpacks just yet. I'm going to put the throttle at about 40% because we are just not producing enough power at the moment unless I crank this up a bit. Which, I mean, maybe we can do. Let me put it at 60. Oh, I have to do the clicking. That's right. At 60, our reactor is giving us about 1.5 thousand FE a tick. Which, if we look at the jetpack, is enough to charge it while we are flying. So that's good. Oh man, where, uh, Emerald is great. Why would you upgrade to all the modium? If it's in the pack, uh, purely for speed, for speed. Every tier up is more speed. Ooh, the restaurant finished. I think what I'm going to do is continue the applied energistics quest line here. Always lags when I click it. Yeah, we did a few of these just because of building that structure. Why don't we, we could probably hurry and do this whole tab over here on the right. Why don't we take a look? We need a any P2P tunnel, an export and an import bus. So I'll go ahead and get us a regular import bus. and a regular export bus. Hopefully, looks like it's working all right. And we need a formation pane. Now, I don't think we've made patterns for that yet. And I like to have my patterns. So let's make one for formation panes. And I might be running low on circuits since we still haven't set up proper automation for all the printed circuits. I think that's what we'll do today once we hit a dead end in the quests. Wrangling says, once you get a hand of AE2, I believe it's better than refined storage. In my opinion, AE2 is light years ahead of refined storage because of spatial IO. Purely because of that. If there wasn't spatial IO, I'd say they're, they're comparable. They're pretty equal. But refined storage doesn't have anything similar to spatial I.O. 
So if you don't need spatial and you don't know how to use it, then honestly, you could go either or. You really could. Refined storage is better in terms of channels since it doesn't have them. The AE2 is beautiful. It's my favorite mod, so my opinion might be a little biased. Let's get a formation pane if we have the circuits. And I think we need a pattern for P2P tunnels. Let's go ahead and make one of those. I really don't know if we have the engineering processor. Oh, we do. Lucky. Okay, that's done. And that also turns in memory card. Let's claim our rewards. I'm just looking at each of them to see if any of them are a loot box. Doesn't seem so. Then we need a inverter and fuzzy. Two really good cards. We already have fuzzy as a craft. We grab one of those. And I know we don't have a pattern for inverters. So let's make that. And I'm actually, I'm going to get a pattern for the inverted toggle bus and toggle bus. I don't think it's a quest. I just use them. Let me make some patterns. Make a toggle bus recipe and a lever recipe. Throw these in here. I love these extended pattern providers. It's going to save us so much time. Let's get an inverter card. And that should complete this section over on the right. We do need a overflow destruction card and a equal distribution card as well as a 1k storage cell. We need all the K storage cells, but to do those, we need to set up the inscribers. Let me get a overflow. Okay, we do need patterns. Overflow and equal distribution. If at any point you guys want to know what any of this does, anybody in the chat, just ask. I have plans to make a detailed guide to Applied Energistics in 1.20. I think will be fun to do. I just need to actually sit down and do it. I'm not bad at that. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I should complete these two quests. Let's see. What else? Uh... Pattern Provider and Pattern Access Terminal. Go ahead and craft a Pattern Provider and Access Terminal. Thirty-two for silicon and eight for each printed circuit. The four. Yeah, maybe. I, I gotta decide what route I want to go. Oh, I actually need another of these. That should complete a bunch of our quests here. Access to them. We do need a pattern encoding terminal. I'll just pick up this one for the quest. Which gives us some free patterns. Random rewards and random rewards. We need a level mitter, toggle bus, redstone card, and crafting card. Okay. And then we gotta do some of our crafting storage, co-processors, and a crafting monitor. Let me come in here and dump these materials. I'll put these cards over here. Let's get a level emitter, which is one thing I did early in the 
you have a memory card in blank pattern, it will copy and paste. Yep. They're fantastic. I love using memory cards for setting up AE2. I make a crafting card and a storage monitor. I don't know if that's a quest. I just like storage monitors. Then a redstone card. I don't know why. I just I really want to I really want to do the A2 quest lines first. Cuz what we're what we're alpha testing here, we're making sure all the quests work is the plan. Come back over here. Let me get a redstone card. And an emitter. A toggle bus. Do storage monitors take up channels? They do not. As long as you don't change it to... Um, because there's multiple ways to use a storage monitor, right? Uh, storage monitors don't require a channel, but if you change them to conversion monitors, if you change them to conversion monitors, they do use a channel. For anyone who, if you don't know, a storage monitor is just data. It just shows you the level of the item you've chosen, but a conversion monitor lets you input and put items into the system of that type through that monitor that does require a channel. Does indeed. All right, what did I, uh, oh, we need the crafting card. Because using emitters, emitters, assemblers, toggle buses, and redstone cards, you can make your own requester system, which is fantastic. Let's grab all of these. And then we need the crafting storage, a coprocessor, and a monitor. Let's make the basic coprocessor and the basic monitor. We're not going to make the mega one yet. Let's just get a crafting coprocessor and a crafting monitor. I should be able to just pick up this 1k storage for the quest. We'll get a coprocessor. Can I, can I type it this way? Oh gosh. Uh, let me just add a E to and get a crafting monitor and a coprocessor. Tell you what, we'll just throw them on. So we're using them and that completes the upper quest chain. Definitely getting there. Yeah, the quest chain down here is what I'm talking about that separates, truly separates applied energistics from refined storage, and that is spatial I.O. One of my favorite things to use with AE2. We need a wireless booster and a access point for one of our quests. Let's go ahead and make some patterns here. And a booster card. Now we're already getting into where we really need inscribers auto set up. We could take a break and do those. Let me see if we can request an access point. Okay, we have the materials. And if we can request a card. Okay, so we were actually able to complete that quest. 
I'm going to need to make all the wireless terminal patterns. So we've got wireless terminal, wireless crafting terminal, which I like to do from the wireless terminal. And if we take a look, we also need the other ones. We are going to need pattern access and pattern encoding. Is there a better pattern access recipe? No, that is the best. Let's see what of these we can craft right now. So I'm going to come over here and I, I need a wireless terminal. Okay, we actually have the resources for it, which is a miracle. Go ahead and turn in that quest. And we want the three. We want a crafting, an encoding, and an access. We had those materials for the access. Hopefully materials for an encoding. Then we need another crafting terminal. Holy cow, we actually had the materials. That just blew my mind. And then thanks to the beauty of AE2WTLib, we can make our universal terminal. Is fantastic. I'll put a little wireless access point just to get us up and running. Link this terminal to it. And why don't we look at the recipe? Or the infinity range. So you do need nether stars. Which, we haven't killed any withers yet. I'm going to put this on my... It should just be any slot. I'm going to put it in a bundle slot. So that we have access to it. Why don't we actually kill some withers? Let me grab... Actually, do we have, I don't think we have a, a wither skeleton spawner in here, do we? Yeah, I don't think we do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we don't. We could go get one. Or, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll just change take our one Witherton Wither Skeleton Spawn Egg and what I'm going to do is change one of the zombie spawners to Wither Skeleton. We haven't upgraded our spawners just because I haven't really needed to. And the next thing we want to upgrade if we can get visible access to it here. is we're going to want beheading for the wither skulls. So I'll come to our pattern provider. Actually, I mean, we could, we, if we're close enough, we can just use this one. And I'm going to put my patterns into my wireless terminal. I'm going to come to beheading. Set this to allow any so it, it can use the armor we already have otherwise we need a pattern for iron helmets and gold helmets and then we just want ten beheading yep it'll use some of the helmets we already have and then it'll craft some Go ahead and get these masher upgrades and throw them in here. 
Now, we should start to get... Obviously, we're going to get the Wither Skull Fragments. But we'll have a higher chance of Wither Skulls like such. I already have a few Wither Skulls. Let's build a chamber to kill the Wither in. I'm going to use... Mob Grinding Utils Tinted Glass, since it is witherproof. And I think I need a bit more. Let me make a pattern for it. And I'm just going to try to get a little bit more. And we'll put the Wither Killing Chamber down over here for now. I'm going to mine out an area. I actually need more glass. I'm not 100% sure. You don't do not want to be here. Our guards going ham. Doing work. Oh man, we're going to be just short. It can hopefully... Oh, out of range. Am I in range over here? Yep, there we go. Let's just get a couple more tinted glass. There we go. And I'll get us some wither skulls. And we should have soul sand. Ooh, we don't have a lot. We'll need to set up stuff for soul sand soon as well. And I actually didn't go high enough. I thought this was four blocks tall. My pick is definitely too strong. It needs to be three by three by four. So I'm going to take out this area. Place our glass here. And we need, let's think, three, six, nine, twelve more glass. Twelve more glass, guys. Welcome to our tinted glass. Quest 12. I'll come inside here and I also need a wither rose. I think I'm going to get one by just using one of our spawn eggs. Oh my gosh, let me through. Oops. Spawn. Uh, we'll put in a cave spider. No, no, no. We'll, we'll put in a skeleton. No, I don't know if that will die to it. I'll worry about that later. I'll do that later. Go ahead and summon our wither boy. Okay, he is properly stuck. There is our first nether star, and we did get a withering soul, which is really nice. Hero of the Village 5 and Silver Sight, as well as a soul receptacle. Curse of Bones 5 and a miniature yellow heart. Now, hopefully... We should be able to now request. I'm not going to go for the dimension card yet. I'm just going to try to get an infinity range card. Perfect. We had the materials. Throw that in here. And now, as long as we're in the overworld, we have our AE2 system, which is fantastic.
Cool beans. I think the next step is going to be setting up the inscribers so that we can make all of the storage components. And we'll do the cells and the color applicator. And we'll be entirely done with the applied energistics quest chain. But I'm going to call the stream here. I hope everyone enjoyed watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Uh, someone says, Wrang uh, Wrangling asks, is there a special way to break the mailbox? Not that I'm aware of. I just break it, and then every time I put it back, I rename the mailbox. But guys, have a good one. Uh, I'm probably going to be live again on one of my channels playing Volcano Block or something else. But have a good one. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.